Mkama akakwata kumgatia kubeka. And he said, take it, this is my body. Ya ajirati mtore, mriyo muenda, ogunu mbiru kwanzi. Look for just one that is lost. Mbibu na ajirangu wakatsaka heta machenda na muenda, ya haza kushenra kari ya kamu akawa ili karaziri. So the Lord Jesus has come to, and he has looked for you, and you have come, and you've heard his His voice. Just close your eyes now. Just begin to speak to the Lord. Ask Him for forgiveness. Ask Him for forgiveness. You have seen in your life there are things that you know you have done. Just begin to speak to him and say, Lord, forgive me. Forgive me, Lord. 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 So Lord, your children are coming to you now. They are repenting of their sins. They are asking you to forgive them of their sins. Please have mercy on them. Now you're going to pray and you're going to pray after me. You say, Lord, yes. I have heard your word. I believe that you died on the cross. You died on the cross for my sins. Today, I repent of my sins. Elizova ni nchuka Elizova ni nchuka I ask you to forgive me of my sins Ni nchavo sasele Elizova ni nchuka I invite you into my heart Ni nkwa chila Omutoma guanze I make you the lord of my life Ni nkwa chila Mkama uwa magaragani Write my name in the book of life. And I make you the Lord of my life. And from now on, when I call on your name, answer me with fire. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's clap for them. Let's congratulate you. Welcome into the kingdom of God. 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 Mabaru kujumbu kama bwaranga, mabaru kujumbu kama bwaranga. We're going to. Ekaya ni kuatu, echikacha ni chikuatu, na ngone changa changa chikuatu. But the Lord has sent His word to set free those who are in prison. Amen. Amen. He has sent us to He has sent His word to open the, the prison doors. He has sent His word to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. That God wants to be favorable. He wants to give us favor. Hugu mwaka rahanga nenda kubuganzi nenda kumwa kabuemba mazi. He has sent His word to comfort all those who mourn. Hatumereti gamba chekufumuza abogona barukuganya. 
and to give an exchange of beauty instead of ashes. The exchange is that God gives us his beauty and we give him our ashes. He says he wants to give us the oil of gladness instead of mourning. And wherever the Holy Spirit uh, moves, there is rejoicing, there is joy that breaks out. And everywhere where we have gone in these missions, God breaks the spirit of mourning, of grieving. And people rejoice and they begin to dance and, 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 and sing and, and there's a whole like a celebration. But he also brings vengeance or judgment. Because if there's sin in the land, God will judge the sin. God's blessing is on the righteous, on his people. But if there's sin in the land, God brings judgment. And so we have seen that wherever uh, this work goes, God judges the places of, of sin and iniquity. So if there are evil altars in the land, God will judge those evil altars in the name of Jesus. Because there is So I want to show you what is the result of God's word being preached or proclaimed. According to Isaiah 61, it says, You shall be called oaks or trees of righteousness. The planting of the Lord, the, the trees that God has planted. And if you look at a tree, a tree is something that cannot be moved. If you look at that tree there, it will stand even 20, 30 years from now, you'll find it standing. So when God plants you, you become established. Even when years come, there's nothing that can move you. That is something that God gives to his people, that they cannot be moved. He also says that you shall build up the old ruins, old... Even if there have been ruins for many generations, you will rebuild them. And that's why God gave us the theme of redigging the wells of revival. Because there are some places that well, after the revival left, the place has become abandoned, it has become ruins. But after the word of God comes, you shall rebuild even those ruins. It also says that strangers shall be your, your, your workers or your plowmen. They will be walking in your fields. That's talking about 
investors and people coming in, coming into your land to, to, to bring wealth to the land. It says you shall be called the priests of our God. You will be ministers of our God. It says you shall eat the wealth of the nations. That means that all the nations will come and, and keep their wealth here in Baraa. You see banks, international banks coming and bringing their headquarters here. There will there'll be industries that come and put up their headquarters here. And more factories that come and put up their headquarters here. You shall eat the wealth of the nations. It says you shall Instead of shame, you will have a double portion. It says in your land, someone say in, in my land. Not in uh, Saudi Arabia, not in uh, Dubai, not in uh, China, but here in my land. Here in my land, here in my home, I will have a double portion. It is a curse for our children to go and be maids in houses in Saudi Arabia. It is a curse. Because God wants us to be blessed in our land, here on this land. So we want to break that curse of our young people going and getting jobs in other places, in other places where they are working as, as, as maids in, in, in homes. It says that your children will be blessed and they will be known all over the world. When you see uh, Cheptegai and Kiprotich and all of our runners when they are raising the flag of Uganda internationally, that is a blessing which comes from God. But God wants that in every area, not only in sports, he wants it in science, in, 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 in medicine, in everything that, that our children should be the best. The Bible says that just like a bride and bridegroom put on uh, clothe themselves, that we will be clothed with salvation and with righteousness. So in some parts of our country, we are not clothed in salvation, we are clothed in wickedness. And we are not clothed in righteousness, we are clothed in sin and corruption. But we have come here to the headquarters of the revival. Because we want to remove the garments of iniquity and clothe ourselves with salvation and remove sin and corruption 
righteousness. And put on righteousness. Someone say hallelujah. The word of God tells us that the faith that was in Paul was first in the grandmother. And I have seen your grandmothers alive because I know them. So we thank God for you. Let's clap our hands and thank God for patience. After receiving from God, from all these people who have ministered to us, we are going to conclude like this. There are five elements that we need to focus on as we request for forgiveness from God. Number one, we need to repent. We need, I'm talking about repentance. And repentance begins with being remorse with the sin you have committed. When to hate it, to develop an anger against it. East Africa. But praise the Lord, I was never, I never failed. I passed. I got angry at that pombe old beer which I took at Indiana school, which took me to Kajogo. I started misbehaving with ladies and whatever. The person who had come the third in the nation, I came now last. But praise the Lord, he helped me and I passed. So, to so, and as we go to pray, come to the Lord and confess that very sin which was to separate you with the Lord. Hate it and flee from it. So the second element is confession. You must no quatura. Yes, you have to confess it. The third. You have to have faith. Trust in God's mercy and grace to forgive your sin through Jesus Christ. The fourth, forgiving others. You have to forgive them. Because God tells us in His word, Matthew 6, 14 and 15, but I wait to but forgive all those who trespass against us. As God does forgive us. Element the fifth element, restitution. 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 That's a born again seated here. But the name of Makunya is born again. Twenty years they are born again. Now I'm going to Makunya Shatu. Even thirty years. Every what they stole, but I have no makagao. They still have them in their homes. But I want to thank God. If they were being retired at school, the books I stole. Kavagarayo. If they were children, 
The books I saw in that school in Michigani, primary school, primary school, I took them back. All the ladies I forgot. I went and said to them, and I said bye to them. I said, I'm gone. I have turned that I'm not going back. We must restitute. You have to hate it. You have to And you will trust that God will forgive you. And you do that in humility. Have you seen the miracle which has taken place here? The daughter of His Excellency. And for you pray when you are crossing legs. I ask you. Everyone get out of your seat. Let us pray the Lord for you. Whatever we sin against, kneel down. Let us cry unto God to visit us again. Enter into this Take away corruption. Take away corruption. Take away fear. Marriage which is bizarre. Let on us. That's our prayer that you keep quiet. Let's keep quiet. Let the Holy Spirit visit you. Show you, show me the mistakes I have done. Show you the things you took, they are still in your house, and you are born again. Show me the mistakes I have made, and they are still in your house, and you are born again. So, whatever the Spirit is to you, confess it to Him. Confess it to Him. Confess it to Him. I want to thank God for Anglican bishops who are here. I want to thank God for the, the clergy, Anglican clergy who are here. And we must repent. We must repent. And forgive our brothers who are pastors, who are bishops on the other side. <laughs>